Hi there and welcome back to another episode of the 32 Bit Rant and today we are looking again at the iOmega zip drive and perhaps I might actually get the thing to work today. Alright, well, if I was actually going to get some use out of this zip drive, I was going to have to use it on something that might actually be um, capable of using the parallel port. So I have my Dell Latitude D400 with its dock, which has a parallel port on it. And as you can see, the zip drive actually comes up. Ah, I'll put the disc in. So now, there's nothing on the disc, but we can go and find a file. I decided if I was going to copy anything, I was going to get a song. So I think we'll go with this one here, which is an MP3, I believe, and we'll copy it to the zip drive. As you can see, the drive is writing, slowly but surely, and then we can go back and you will see that the track has been added. Now let's try playing it. Come on, if I minimise this close this. You can hear the drive just whirring away in the background. I should have a track at some point. We'll try to play. Come on. So you should be able to tell that it's now playing and if I keep this going for too long it will actually get this thing copyright infringed and everything else. But there you go. I can provide a link for the song in the description anyway. Alright, and now poses the question, can I copy the game Lemmings to the zip disk? It's a whole 29.6 megs. As you can see, the copy dialogue comes up and we'll come back once it's done. Alright, that took a while, to say the least. Now my game is on my disc. I don't even want to try running it because it will take me far too long. So instead, I think I might just end this here. Well, there you have it. So we had a look at the zip disc and of course, as you can tell, it did work. It's just that it doesn't work on the Toshiba. Which is incredibly weird, considering that the Toshiba itself does work with my Parallel Port CD-ROM drive and the Parallel Port CD-ROM drive also works with the Dell and I can actually say the same for the serial COM port as well For example, the port detects my drawing tablet future video, Keep, stay tuned um, but it doesn't detect my serial mouse I don't actually know it could be operating system related I'm hoping to do a wee bit of work to the Toshiba to see if I can get something to work on it and I'll report back at that point however in the meantime I'll see you all eventually you have been watching a 32 bit rant episode the follow up to a slight zip drive disaster only this time it worked amazingly so now it's just um, it's goodbye for now and stay safe